our common enemy should be better now like i mean that's true that's yeah true. it should be china yeah now. it should be china i mean like we should we should we have progressed we have we have moved on in the world like mm. i think pakistan still stuck there we, whenever we used to go out we used to have this little inferiority complex yeah when we used to put on an accent like how junior ntr was putting on a little <laughs> bit of a fake accent i, I think he, he did pretty well he did well yeah. but it's a little bit too obvious that yeah. it was fake but where does it stem from it stems from the fact you won't see an american coming here and putting on an indian accent and talking to reporters he's proud of his accent yeah, he's proud of who he, he is he's proud of his skin 2024 is a walkover yeah, anyone a walkover. there is nobody else king yeah. rahul gandhi walking all over india is going to change any votes and in fact they lose more votes When you look at Rahul Gandhi, I mean, uh, for for any leftist, you're like, कौन आ गया भाई? I mean, like, ठंडा ठंडा feeling is there. I think the problem with BJP is is that whenever anything gets whispered about themselves in Western media, they overreact, and once yeah. they overreact and they ban, then everyone's like, oh, what is this documentary? Yeah, exactly. Because I just kept their mouth shut and let it go. Pant bichara, he had yeah. a almost died. Horrible, horrible accident. Horrible accident. I mean, I don't understand. You are India's future. captain like he still talking to me Dri- why would you drive alone are you mad if i give you 100 crores will you retire and do nothing your whole life they, they mean, will be- I, i am one of those people <laughs> <laughs> i can we know quite a few people who <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would <laughs> i would happily take the 100 crores go to a beach in goa no, no but how much how much, can, how much can you chill in that beach in goa for two months Welcome back. It's been a while since we had our favorite uh, solo episode. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> yes, yes, a lot has happened since the last time we sat down like this. Yeah. Uh so much to catch up on also what's been happening uh, cricket wise, geopolitics wise as well, current affair wise. Oh, lots and yeah. lots and lots of so stuff. So, one of the big bombshells actually has been um, what's happening to Pakistan, our neighboring country right yeah. now is crazy. Their economy their forex reserves are down to like 3 billion yeah. they have only 2 weeks worth of uh, imports left yeah and it's a big deal for them and uh, their prime minister went on the news and actually said we've learned our lesson from all the wars against india and but again the same problem is i think pakistan is one of these countries which has their ego before any actual practicality So I don't know Let, let's see a uh, lot of people a lot of uh, possibilities are there Pakistan might even break up into a couple of nations as well they're fighting with the Taliban it's a I see Pakistan has always been unstable they've been supported their proxies to the US and hmm. China always everybody knows this yeah but um, I feel that as Indians we should now stop caring about Pakistan because it's like it's like you're still worried about that eighth grader <laughs> guy who you were in know, eighth grade with. It's the best way to unite a country is to have a common enemy. True. Yeah. But like we, our common enemy should be better now. Like I mean, that's true. That's yeah. True. It should be China. Yeah, now. it should be China. I mean, like we should we should we have progressed. We have we have moved on in the world. Like mm. I think Pakistan still stuck there. Like you know, mm. about coming back to my point, I was like. we are in we are running our own businesses but we are still worried about that eighth grade uh, uh, <laughs> bully that we had in school like yeah. you know so i i think we've left that bully behind uh, that bully has done nothing in his life and yeah. uh, it's not going to achieve anything we must move this on still, and the find part? the find who is who is actually challenging us right now who's china you know like they are an actual superpower who are fighting with us on the borders yeah. and we are facing a lot of issues but now i believe that india is in that space where yeah. we should not be worried about small things we have to worry about the big thing and we are in the big leagues india now india actually has been doing pretty well for itself yes. financially yes. economically yes. our reserves are in the 550 billion uh, sort of a range in that way uh, <laughs> our economy is going very well our infrastructure is now finally people are seeing now that infrastructure is developing airports are springing up left right center road connections are good it just shows that you just need a person with a good vision to and it has to be implemented yes, that was exactly. the main I thing think, think. that that was one of my main reasons why i was a big fan of him not of his whole ideological factors it yeah. was like the fact that i see that this guy has a road map a plan but of course the main po- problem is is the religion factor and uh, the it's, it sells very well on media thus that's how he gets painted and all his followers get painted as uh, racist he is uh, no no it's not about racism or uh, this thing the problem is that there is um that's the rhetoric to win the election like for him he wants to win elections without 
he wants to win the election without the muslim vote let's be realistic about it and he is he is he's he proud of it, it. He's, uh, yeah he's proud of it yeah he's proud of it and he wants to do it in that in that way mm. and that is his way of do i mean uh, uniting uniting his vote bank to mm. vote for him completely mm. because if he does not do that mm. i feel that like if his vote bank splits a little bit also then he will not be able to make it so for him he has to he has to play the rhetoric and saying that i also believe that he is not the kind of person who has led the country down we have we have been on the up and up yeah we have been on the up and up and in terms of business in terms of everything else we have been on the up and up I but mean, i do of course not all credit should go to the government of course it it has been the indian consumer who, and the indian businessman who is now slowly thinking out of the box as well it's we are, it's not that i think uh, we have now our per capita income mm. and uh, the spending power mm. of like the middle class maybe 10 years ago mm. was uh, very much lesser compared to what the average income of the middle class is currently now mm. so it is not the the higher 1% or the 5% of the society that's going to spend the money that's going to affect the country it is the 50% of the middle class society mm. who's going to spend and affect the country like you know what's happening yeah. we throughout you always had this apologistic uh, uh, we used to apologize for being indians in our set we, whenever we used to go out we used to have this little inferiority complex yeah when we used to put on an accent like how junior ntr was putting on a <laughs> little bit of a fake accent i, I think he did pretty well he did well yeah. but it's a little bit too obvious that yeah. it was fake but where does it stem from it stems from the fact you won't see an american coming here and putting on an indian accent and talking to reporters he's proud of his accent yeah, he's proud of who he, he is he's proud of his skin no true, but like if you were speaking in hindi maybe he would try to want he i mean like if a person comes down and he's speaking in hindi to mm. an american guy comes down and he's like tumne kya kiya hai yeah. you know and you, you, you're like what the fuck is this guy saying i mean let's be realistic that is not the right accent but he would also long to speak in hindi like how not a lot of people want to do that but i think that is changing about india yeah we have a lot of opportunity here and i believe that that is so so that, that that's yeah. being my point yeah. before we were always like let's be a call center for america's action now everyone is seeing us as india is the main market let's everyone try and f- source the indian market because that customer is more sexy it's, than the I, american I, I consumer that, now i believe there is that's not entirely correct that we are to completely uh, mm. have uh, to gain credit from this mm. it is also that china mm. has become too big for his boots and america and the european countries everybody else don't want to make china even bigger mm. you know so and china had a very bad covid uh, apparently 80% of its population has got infected infected and, and uh, they are they are actually in that in that place in their lives where they are challenging the us for the number one spot in the world they are they are very i mean you can't our, become number one if you're hated by most of the world you you cannot become number one yeah. but they are kind of on their face currently and they are yeah. you know they are they are doing that so therefore i believe that that's also a by product of where india has suddenly you know become the eye of every the apple of everyone's eye yeah. because, because it was for 40 years it was china mm. no one even looked at us yeah. but now that china is becoming too big for his boots and the the it the west realized capitalism back yeah, then also yeah, so yeah the west realizes now that oh my god they have created a monster that is not going to go away that easily so they are actually trying to create another monster in india which can take on china as yeah, well yeah like just recently there yeah. was this bbc documentary yeah. of uh, talking about the 2002 gujarat riots and modi and i think they've just made the whole thing very about it. modi was the main person uh, who led the riots and i and i, such I a don't way. i i and got banned not, in india recently this documentary i have not seen the documentary no, so you have to get it on torrents or something like that you I, can't, you can't see know. it now yeah you can't well. see it now i think the problem with bjp is is that whenever anything gets whispered about themselves in western media they overreact and once yeah. they overreact and they ban then everyone's like oh what is this documentary yeah, exactly. because i just kept them out shut and let it go they've been <laughs> so many documentaries about obama or uh, british prime nobody minister nobody cares about no that. one cares yeah, no donald one. trump but the second you react and ban that means yeah. like, why are you banning what yeah why are you banning and then, and then a lot more people are going to see that and it's not good for you in that yeah exactly you yeah. you you can't in today's day and age you can't ban anything yeah anything can I just i mean even spread. if you do ban it like you know it's you impossible. can possible it'll spread the torrents there's mm. so many different ways of uh, media can be spread you have like for example porn they try to ban porn <laughs> <laughs> then they realize 70% of the internet is porn yeah <laughs> you can't ban it <laughs> no <laughs> I, i i guess i guess like you know they the the, the 
my my issue is this as well like you know when when we actually try to ban stuff mm. and um, that kind of brings out a very um, undemocratic slash you know um, dictator vibe yeah <laughs> so that's kind of the uh, cuz if you see anybody in the west mm. you can make any documentary about anybody mm. and it will be aired and it will be shared and mm. uh, everything will the go on will the, the market will decide the will decide if it's good or no mm. and that's that's the that's the beauty of the west i feel mm. but now i mean like if if a china were, if a if a documentary was made about xi jinping you, that would never see the light of, of day course. in china of or any other like uh, if you went to the arab world also yeah, you know yeah. if a, if a, if a documentary was made by for mohammed bin salman oh, yeah. it would not see the light of day in saudi arabia mm. you know and i think it's if, also because how much do you trust your citizen if your citizen is smart and he's uh, understandable that oh there's a certain bias to it i'm not going to believe someone but a lot of people they just see a single video and say oh this is the truth it's on video it's on it's on so and so bbc is showing it yeah. so it must be true but uh, yeah that that's the problem is to how much do you trust your citizens if you don't trust your citizens as at all like how I, the chinese government do then they i think it's that. a bad um, a bad time hmm. for this thing to come out because of the election this being the yeah, election year there always be elections in yeah, india yeah there's, but but, but any, still any this is, is 2024 2024 is a walkover yeah, anyone walk who there is nobody else king yeah. rahul gandhi walking all over india is going to change any votes in fact they lose more votes they, the guy has actually put his foot in his mouth multiple more times in this uh, bharat joro i was uh, i was kind of looking at this uh, video that he made and he said yahan se aloo dalo aur yahan se sona nikle that was that was a long time that was long i know but like he i think he put uh, puts his foot in his own mouth yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, nobody saying that like he is he's ever going to win anything because just that, doesn't feel that, like that, that's the problem is that who's the alternative and i feel sorry for anyone who even tries to here, I, defend I mean, him because I, mean, uh, i feel that like he is just not the person that can i think over. something's not 100% correct <laughs> with he, no, no, it's not about 100% correct he's not a politician like he does not he does not incite like um, uh, uh, you know pride or like you know any kind of emotions in another person yeah, like when you yeah. look at rahul gandhi i mean uh, for for any leftist you're like कौन आ गया भाई ये आई मीन लाइक ठंडा ठंडा फीलिंग इज देयर सो सो देयर इज नोबडी टू प्रोवोक दैट काइंड ऑफ लॉयल्टी स्लैश यू नो पावर फॉर समबडी टू कम अप एंड स्टर दैट ग्रुप अप एंड गेट गेट देम ओवर केजरीवाल केजरीवाल आल्सो कांट इवोक सच इमोशंस एंड ऑल ही इज नॉट ही इज नॉट बट ही इज अ वेरी स्मार्ट politician yeah. is a very smart politician and he is playing the same same games that everybody else is playing you know uh, congress to is out of it they uh, completely cannot, out of it yeah. but i mean, i know so, but i'll do one thing which i really wanted to talk to you about also was uh, artificial intelligence yes and how so recently google laid off 16000 employees yes. and that's a big number you yes. know if people don't realize that that cities in europe you know that's how big 16000 can be and why because new things have come up with artificial intelligence where chat gpt open ai such sort of websites where you can before we used to always think that oh there will always be creativity will be a human strength where other uh, machines can't do that now you can type write me a paragraph about 1950 italian history and say it in a particular bias of this and that you can be very specific and it'll just print it out for you and there's so much and this coming up with art this lot of this uh, people this unique pieces which have never made before coming up with their own music you can create amazing tracks nowadays by just saying i want a crazy frog uh, with a classical theme and this and, that. and it makes it this is going to make so many people redundant today it's going to yeah that's um, it's a very scary scary uh, world actually it's like because a lot of us were actually preparing ourselves for that like what is the future of humanity i don't it's know it's not it's not it's never going to make a, um, humanity redundant because i i mean not currently where we are it's like it can't because we only have to ask the question and we have the requirement so therefore the requirement is provided a lot of people will lose their jobs mm. the conventional it job that yeah. you were had is going to go out the window But what is next no, yeah. i don't know like you'll just be taking care of the database servers or farming what? i think we will be going <laughs> back to farming no, you, you can do it give it to robotics man <laughs> i i mean uh, yeah I, but that's the that's the only you, thing you that know you know the weirdest part so about robotics i was talking to your yeah. brother about this also so in japan in 2019 there was yeah. a group of science, and they kept it hush it just came out recently that this company in japan was working on certain soldier robots yeah. okay 
and one two of them got defunct and turned on the scientists one of them killed 29 japanese scientists okay they dismantled it the fourth particular robot they dismantled it this dismantled robot connected with a satellite and tried to rebuild itself if you are, it's it's crazy welcome what welcome to skynet right yeah it's proper <laughs> terminator stuff yeah, yeah. like my god what is yeah. possible now it's very scary it's and there. and also like we really elon musk himself says you do have no re- uh, idea ai is more dangerous than climate change it is it is, is insanity uh, ai i mean we've we've all seen the sci-fi films but mm. uh, i have no um, i have no idea how how dangerous it can be it can or get very because this is not a s- technology which only certain people know about this can, this is people are slowly coming up and saying oh yes. robotics mixes up you just need one psycho guy to say hey you know what kill everyone yeah, yeah, go for done, it yeah, you know yeah done yeah yeah and uh, and also like i was saying that uh, you, you know they have to have a source like an energy source like we can say that you know if we switch off the electricity where are they going to get the power from like <laughs> you know no, so <laughs> there's a ridiculous thing like that like but it's not that it's not that no. and also recently um, um I, i also read that there was a there's a fuel source that china has found on the moon okay that is uh, it's called uh, it's some helium um i don't know like okay. a for the we'll find the name yeah we'll find the name i think helium something mm. but um, that is so powerful that mm. like 1 kg of it can power like the the entire city for a day wow. or something like that so and there is like loads and loads of it on the moon wow and um, i was like you know where is this world headed now this world i think basically we are we are uh, we are slowly running out of obstacles to cure Mm. you know like before it was poverty now poverty like the hunger is now not not that much of an issue we don't have people dying on the streets of hunger as they did in the 80s and 90s but now slowly we're just trying to figure out once we reach like you go to europe you realize they've reached whatever peak they had to reach yeah. and now they're kind of just bored and then the society starts the population density reduces and you just meet them and they're not very happy people there's we humans need a goal to be happy i feel you know as much as we complain about doing our jobs and working and all if we don't have it what do we do yeah. you know if you cash out if i give you okay if i if i give you 100 crores will you retire and do nothing your whole life they, they mean, will be i i am one of those people <laughs> <laughs> i can we know quite a few people who <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would happily take that 100 crores go to a beach in goa no, no but how much how, can, how much can you chill in that beach in goa for two months Three months. Why not? I can build a little life there. No, uh, but, but uh, the problem is, see, I'll tell you, I had this problem. Like yeah. when you eat certain food, and it's like, it's, let's say you had a great burger, the best burger ever. Yeah. Now, any other burger you have after that is like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, but it's, it's not right. that. It's not that, yeah, obviously. And then you can't, you, you, then you go into a little bit of a depression because you've seen the best. Like True. Dan Bilzerian, for example, mm-hmm. he's been with the most attractive, beautiful women all around the world. But he's reached a stage where he's just like, it's all the same. Yeah. it is all the same but see the thing is that it's all made up in your head right like mm. you know you you choose mm. after that tomorrow like you know if if you had to we still live a monotonous life only we still do the same thing over and over again mm. in this in this place mm. now if you were financially secure mm. that would just make your life not easier but more difficult yes yeah. but that is up to you what you choose to do with it Again, I think when you get rich, then is everyone in the society looks at you like, oh well, now you have to give it back to society. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I want to leave society, go to Bali, <laughs> <laughs> you know, live in another kind of society who doesn't expect things from me. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you, when you meet, we we have a lot of friends mm-hmm. who are uh, pretty well off, and yeah. but when you see their lives, uh, you realize they're not very happy because because they're, well, they're well, we, we always think wealth will cure it all. No, but it doesn't. No, but see, the uh, wealth <laughs> it makes it worse actually. No, well, the problem. Is is wealth doesn't cure it all because see if you and me mm. today you were given 100 crores and i was given 100 crores mm. okay i would i would be one person i'm a little i'm a little different like that i would i would want to now i'll be like now i'm done mm. chalo chalte hain but maybe you would want to outdo the other person who has 100 crores to taking yeah. this 100 crores and trying to outdo it now i want 200 crores and now i want 400 crores out of 400 crores become 1000 crores but i think people with egos who kind of go for that rat race yes. because that rat race is what depresses you and exactly, kills you and exactly. ruins your health it is you yeah, and you like, want that rat race like if the, you can you can happily be like the ambani's for example mm-hmm. 
they have all the money in the world yeah. but you see like the kid and all who just recently got anant ambani who got engaged recently yeah. and you see that he was thin and then suddenly is again obese again so and i'm sure he must not be in a happy frame of mind going through that physically so no, not at all i mean you you may have all the money and health is of course everything like mm. all the money in the world can't do anything for you but coming back to the point that they don't want to once you get used to that being number 1 or mm. number 2 you know i am the best and it's tough to go back from there i think the problem is you meet a lot of people around you suddenly who want to be your friend and yeah. then you can sense it that this is fake yeah this is you fake, want okay. something from me. yeah exactly you're not being you don't like me <laughs> yeah, you, you don't, don't like you <laughs> want this rolls royce you want this bali vacation yeah, yeah, from yeah, exactly. me you just want I go on my coat tails yeah, exactly. as a terrible feeling actually yeah, for them yeah. exactly and you know that people are like the day it finishes mm. it's um i mean oh they leave they leave they leave, <laughs> they leave immediately like right before far. before anybody will, all all of them will scatter there'll be a few one or two pe- one or two or five people who yeah. will be there with you will take care of you whatever to mm. you know be going through that process yeah. so so what i feel is that like if you really want to be in in the rat race mm. then then you must continue your life and remember that like you are in the rat race and this is what you want yeah, to do yeah i think the less serious you take life the more happier yeah you exactly take it yeah. take it less serious everybody is i think this instagram world has really ruined your yeah, life yeah, yeah. you know so you're constantly saying yeah story me isne ye kiya and usne wo kiya so that's constantly also pushing you and hurting you to do things that you don't want to do mm-hmm. and you push yourself that much harder you do the wrong yeah. thing this recently <laughs> there was this one common friend of ours who uh, very good looking girl but she left instagram why because uh, she said just seeing these other people's lives and all it got me into a depressed about my own life mm-hmm. and i'm just like why would you you it looks like you're married to a very handsome guy you're doing pretty well in life why why should you do that but you you never know what's going on in someone's life and in their head but, but that's the thing right like this we always this see life from the outside perspective for we them. always but here's the problem like you and me mm. we have the ability to turn it off like mm. even if you look at it you'll be like are acha hai and you know but you don't let it affect your mental health mm. okay you are you are not thinking oh oh damn this guy has bought this car or this house or gone for this holiday or done or bought this bag or whatever yeah. it may have been that materialistic gain that he has done mm. you know you don't take it personally saying that my life is screwed mm. you maybe take it in a positive and say okay i need to work harder to achieve that mm. or some people don't care about it at all mm. but some people are like i don't have this i have no way to achieve this mm. and i am now depressed mm. and that's what keeps you going back and back and back into that dirty bubble mm. and what people don't realize is this instagram is not real Yeah. like it's the best angle of the best photo of the best thing that you have ever like But you know you should not blame instagram for it i think instagram or social media if you use it smartly it can do wonders for you business wise or also education wise but if you are just consuming it and seeing the glass half empty then you might anything can affect exactly you exactly what i mean anything so, you know, can you affect you yeah, so yeah but but it is it is an easy medium na so mm. you know what can you do but yeah. uh, it's uh, there and it's addictive and yeah. you just chuck 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 in 90 second uh, but anyway moving on i want to talk to you about our indian team oh yeah <laughs> we're doing well we're yeah. doing well but uh, we have a world cup this year yes so uh, very very excited and kohli's finished his drought of centuries is finally back he's, on he scored three centuries in five matches man we have to talk <laughs> about the India Pakistan game in MCG Oh my god I had tears in that game and I was like wow we needed 48 runs in 3 overs yeah. and we were not really middling the ball it's a massive ground Pakistan's yeah. bowling amazingly well yeah. and then Kohli just when he did I mean what a shot it, it first was, ball that had Harris Rauf six also it was uh, unplayable I think uh, for a lot of people who don't understand who play who have no don't understand cricket That is one of the most difficult shots because it's kind of like I have all the time in the world and I just smack you right above your head above six and that's a very very that that's what I is mean, done to spinners normally yeah but not not also spinners because he's played that not with a cross <laughs> bat he's played that with a straight bat yeah yeah I mean cross bat yes you can mm. but with a straight bat it's absolutely yeah. impossible to play that to Harris Rauf like yeah and he's know, bowling ninety ninety five miles an hour he's bowling ninety two to ninety five miles an hour it's impossible like you know if if anybody who has played cricket mm. understands how difficult that shot is to play oh my god and and then the best part is because Because he played that, he knew the next. 
next ball I have to hit a six. He knew it's going to be a fast ball. You're yeah. not going to bowl a slow ball. Yeah. And he was ready. He just flicked it. Yeah. In the largest ground in the world, and goes for six. I, I mean, <laughs> see, that's that's why I love Kohli. Mm. I think he is only Kohli can do that. Kohli uh, maybe Rohit Sharma a little bit, mm, but I think even Dhoni could have done that. Dhoni could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think even Dhoni could have done that because he's done that for us many times. You know, he's he's mm. not at this mm. this uh, this. Um, a stage because like mm. it was india pakistan and we were getting fucked and then mm. we suddenly come back from it all and win it and yeah. it was one of the best games in indian cricketing a lot, history a lot of people who are not indian or pakistanis they themselves said this is the best game ever yeah, because the ambiance in the and the whole environment was crazy it was it was but then we uh, we screwed all up by losing to england in the semi finals without taking <laughs> and that's something which only india does yeah only india does sometimes but i feel i feel that when it's like going good it's going very good <laughs> when it's going bad it goes scary bad but <laughs> but i feel that we do, without without jasprit bumrah hmm. we are not a side that can win a cup but we are a billion and a half people why can't we come up with another jasprit bumrah i just i mean jasprit bumrah is one in uh, i mean he's one in the world so yeah. you know so it's not it's not easy there's one michel st- mm-hmm. uh, stark is, yeah, there's a, there's another uh, no, even the aussies are scared of bumrah yeah but, but his is. action as such he he won't have a long career with if he that's the thing like, like you know so so when we have him we should make use of him get get that uh, <laughs> this thing because see i'll tell you what you know that his four overs people are not going to attack him like mm. it's very difficult to attack him so you know that you have if you have in your team mm. there's a there's a 16 over <laughs> game yeah. you know in your hand like yeah. uh, uh, siraj true. is coming up to be a really siraj good bowler siraj is bowling very well yeah siraj yeah, is bowling I'm very, very well i'm very happy for that umran yeah. malik is also back uh, in i think he's not ready yet it'll at take all. him some yeah, time yeah. but at least they're giving him that exposure yeah. that shubman gill dude like he's he's what a, a player i mean uh, well uh, all the all the openers who were trying for india yeah. shikhar dhawan should wait for <laughs> kl rahul shaadi karke bye bye <laughs> yeah lamba vacation should wait for rohit sharma to retire now because uh, shubman gill is uh, is what a player and what timing and style He's Super. God, my he's God, and he's got a double century. Yeah. Something which even Kohli is not done yet. It's just. I mean, no, nah, but he he's really really good. Even Ishan Kishan as well scored a double century. I I I just this see in it's easy to say that he's the best player on earth on the Indian conditions because mm. yeah. he he is I mean he's used to playing on these and it's not very difficult. Mm. But when he scores run in England, South Africa, and Australia, mm. Australia he has, uh, but so has Rishabh Pant. Mm. But uh, Pant, bechara, he had yeah. a al- almost died. Horrible, horrible accident. Horrible accident. I mean, I don't understand. You are India's future captain. Like he's still talking to me. Dri- why would you drive alone? Are you mad? And he apparently <laughs> fell asleep. Yeah, right exactly. Which why? is very dangerous. I myself, I have fallen asleep quite a few times, and it's very scary. It is. It's so worse than drunk driving. It is so stupid that like you know, or somebody who is who has his whole career in front of him, mm. makes such a. stupid mistake like and that to whoever who's around him managing him mm. should never let these guys make yeah. decision okay fine he wants to go and impress a girl mm. driving a car for a small spin that's okay i mean like please drive your cars but when you're going for a 300 km 400 km drive please take yeah. a driver boss and go to sleep like you yeah, know yeah. you need to be rested you need to work hard you know when yeah. you have the opportunity you must take it if we had autonomous cars that wouldn't have been a problem i mean um, uh, then that would include ai <laughs> <laughs> yeah take us yeah. drive us off the bridge so i mean there. <laughs> it's a double edged sword you know that, that that is true that is true but yeah. rishabh pant because we need this guy he is something very different his mindset is so so different i i hope he recovers he will he will i mean like he's I I I hear that there is no kind of uh, internal injuries hmm. to his ligaments Thank and his God. bones. How and the hell? Yeah, what what he, car? He was an AMG. He was in a GLE AMG. Ah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, so um, <laughs> uh, our generator kicked on. Yeah, our generator kicked on. <laughs> and well. uh, yeah. But I'll tell you one thing which I I hope happens. I hope this World Cup, which should be the end of ODIs, and we should change the rules. No more fifty overs. Make it forty overs. No one has the time to watch fifty overs. It's so overs. long. <laughs> it's so long. It just I, we got used to T Twenties, and we think yeah. that's how cricket should be. I mean, I don't want them to ever give up tests. Don't get me wrong. Tests, though, of yeah. course not. We yeah. should never. But ODIs is just kind of seeming like the ugly triplet. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's <laughs> like no one really like. Uh, we we always say, "Oh, you're watching the game." Like, hey, it's a ODI. I'm not mm. going to go. Watch yeah, it. I had I had like really good tickets uh, to yeah. go to the India New Zealand game. Mm. 
but uh, I just could not find ni- 12 hours in a day. Like, you yeah. know, I could not skip work and go and like sit in the stadium for 12 hours. And apparently they didn't allow you to take a water bottle inside and then they were not even giving water inside. So there were people who were there for 12 hours without water. They were, they were chanting, we want water. We want. Can you imagine like Hyderabad, <laughs> like sometimes... Should we, we, should we, should we thank our uh, BC, uh, uh, HCA president? Uh, yes, yes <laughs> we must, we must. <laughs> he's, uh, he's really... But yeah, this is a very interesting year, uh, cricket-wise yeah. and also cu- current affairs-wise as well. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to many, many more important uh, uh, landmarks coming, us talking about it, us getting more guests. As yeah. well, uh, I think we had a f- smashing episode just now with uh, Raghuram from Rodi's. Yeah. And uh, we hope to we hope to bring a lot more this yeah, year. Yeah, and encourage podcasting culture. I've, I'm having a blast. And uh, so you are am I. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, what we would what we would want is like some support, and you know, so, so for us to kind of get inspired and make some more uh, content for you guys. Right? Well, this.